व्हाइट बोर्ड क्लीन करवाओ और कमलेश एक और देखो यहाँ पे जितने एक्स्ट्रा चीजें रखी है ना बॉटल No, but so there is correct on saying because this is exactly how the real estate market also rises. If you go to a place where it's an established market like Delhi, Gurgaon is still picking up. DLF has picked up. If you go to the new developments, which are still to pick up, you won't find the monkey business there. But you'll find the monkey business in established areas. Someone who wants to increase the price goes and buys a house at. Let's say one crore. Next day he goes. He finds they are asking for one crore five lakh. So he'll buy at one five. He'll just give everyone an agreement. Third day he'll buy at one ten. Tomorrow at one fifteen. Then he'll start selling the one he bought at one at one ten and keep going on. That's the monkey business. What he did, and they're doing that here also. That's exactly how the property market is rising. There is no organized concept of assessment of it. Absolutely. Assessment of the property. Somebody asks hundred. Okay, I will say please. Nabe ka de. Or which one will do? I don't know. Whether that is worth 75 or 110, so just बस वो है कि price you have asked for, I will ask for little negotiation and then the deal will be. Just hone your skills on Ajmal Khan. वहाँ भी boss है यहाँ भी boss. But uh, truly that I think that is that is uh, what consumers are fighting against. Consumer has Risen several levels. As the market risen several levels, I think, and that's the mismatch that you're seeing today. Consumer has risen over the level of a broker also. Absolutely. He's probably negotiating on international markets. He's better. Yeah. And then he comes here and tries to buy a house. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What what we were discussing just five ten minutes yeah. before, that a consumer goes from pillar to post, from one broker to other to third and fourth. He asks for this thing that I want to buy a house. When he does research on basis of that particular dealer or second dealer, third dealer, then he negotiates or collates the data. Then he goes to the sixth person, whom he knows or with whom he have good rapport, good trust. Then he tells him that I want this property. This is the floor. This is the location, and this is the exactly this is this happening. Things. So you give me this thing at this price. He tells us tells us the price also. Find me this property at this price. <laughs> so this is the other way. But the asking price is based on the market price, no? Yeah. Uh, even if somebody is asking hundred, hundred twenty, hundred fifty, whatever, that is based on the market price. Market controls that actually, indirectly. But it depends. The market is whether it is bullish or bearish. Yeah. So if market is bullish, then seller is always the king. So, because it is not share market, na, that you have other option. Because in re uh, real estate, property have a specific feature or location that is more important. Because if uh, you you would see lots of examples when in the same street, at same area, two different properties will have two different prices. If your property is on 200 uh, feet wide road. It will be around 1.5 lakh per square yard. Just I'm giving example of Gurugram. If it is on the back side, it will be 1 lakh rupee per square yard. So it depends on the location. So, but in share market, the things are different. So what happens in real estate also? Whenever uh, what I have said, that if market is bullish, it depends on the seller. But price is also he regulates the thing. And specifically those people who are sitting at the prominent location or who are owner of the prominent location. Because you will find more and more buyers of the prominent locations only. The cheap locations are always cheap. Every time you will find lots of sellers, whether market is bearish or bullish. But if location is good, location is prominent, every time you will fetch good price for that property, irrespective of the market. So in uh, real estate, what I feel, the type of property and the features of property and the builder. The brand, they are the factors who negotiate or who decide what price should be there for that property, and consumer pays. Like uh, you would have seen that uh, just uh, DLF has sold their project Crest at such a high price. Even the ready properties are available at lesser price in the same area. So what is the thing? Brand and location. So bigger the builder, the better the location. 
No. No, 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 no. Not necessarily. He's only setting a name. He's not setting a location. He's setting a name. Crest because the uh, ongoing market price was around twelve thousand five hundred thirteen thousand or so, and he charged I think fourteen thousand. Fourteen and a half and fifteen and a half. Fourteen and a half, fifteen and a half. 14 and a half, 15 and a half. So that's just ten percent more, and which is reasonable because uh, you are not investing hundred percent of the money, and you are going to get the future premium on ten percent of your money. If you are blocking a flat of two thousand five hundred square feet, and just paying ten percent of that. Uh, you are going to get a premium, you know, when the market appreciates. So and I think when the market rises to twenty thousand, twenty-five thousand level, yeah. then your property which you booked at a fourteen or fifteen and a half would also be at the same. Value. Yeah, but you are not buying at ten percent. I think that's you wrong. You said when you said that you are buying at ten percent, you are buying at hundred percent of money for the position wala flats, you know. No, you are talking ah, about yes. the subvention scheme. That is under the subvention scheme there. Otherwise, always new uh, launch is expensive than the you know existing project. I think the RBI has stopped subvention. Stop the subvention they back. Put it a stop to that. Twenty-five percent वाला भी खत्म. Even okay. during <laughs> under construction. जिसको हम लोग PLP बोलते हैं. CLP वाला plan भी अगर होगा ना तो उसमें भी uh, what will happen? He has to pay construction loan. He has to pay next three to four years, ना? Yeah, but, but, but what he's trying to say is, you pay forty percent, or thirty percent, or fifty percent. If you sell the apartment or plot, then you uh, you earn a more of uh, appreciation. Uh, uh, in uh, investing fifty percent of the property value, you earn fifty percent of the profit. What if there's no appreciation of subvention? One, when you buy a subvention scheme, you buy at ten percent higher than the true, CLP true, scheme. True, true, CLP true. scheme, you buy it higher. True. That ten percent, what you buy higher, and. The bank gives the rest of the money to the developer. Right. Now, when the bank gives the rest of the money to the developer, if you had given your money to the developer, or you had taken from the bank on some other property, you know, not only the 10 percent higher which he charge you, he'd give you a 10 percent discount for a down payment also. Right. So you missed out on 20 percent of the money. 20 percent. You missed 20 so percent. It has to be 20 percent higher. So that you you bought it at 20 percent higher to be yeah. to practical, and the subvention scheme is just saying. If you have an eligibility from the bank to get that kind of money alone, then only you come under the subvention scheme. Right. You don't come under the subvention scheme. If I want to go and buy it and I don't get a two crore loan to buy Crest to two and a half crore, mm. then I will not get a subvention. He's not eligible right. to buy, right? So bank stands as a guarantor. And that's why my, the my, my court has come down on that. My point was not subvention. My point was uh, ready position flat, which is thirteen and a half thousand. Versus new booking. under construction Visa flat, new which is fifteen. That 000. is a brand they're okay. selling. They're only selling a brand there. That price increase they asked for DLF is DLF. No, no, no. It's not just because of DLF. If DLF would have asked for twenty thousand, they would have not been able to sell it. DLF would have got still some buyers at twenty thousand. Those, those would have stuck for one and a half years, two years without any premium. They have designed the product accordingly, actually. This is what I think. Uh, is, this know, is where I'd like to put it to the to Magic Bricks. This question of Crest is brought up, which is a very valid question. Brokers, when we try to sell Crest, Crest went into a court litigation over this. True. Uh, I don't know how much facts have still been out, or everyone who knows the true facts. I only also know only part of it. No, no what does it. people imagine we do to see that they follow the rules? They're not following the rules. DLF didn't follow the government rules, put out full page advertisements when they didn't have the permissions to build. How did they start selling? They collected the money without the permission. See, they had this uh, particular FSI on which they built Park Place. Right. They were supposed to build X number of towers, which they did not. That area was left empty, and over a period of time, that booking started. I think Park Place was for five thousand eight hundred or six thousand rupees. I said in the beginning, yeah. Mm. So eventually, when the market rose to around twelve thousand, thirteen thousand, fourteen thousand level, and they when they brought in the crest at that stage, that is where they uh, wanted to cover up the balance of the FSI. But they didn't have the permission to, or the sanctions to build on the land because it was one piece of land. You see, where they took a sanction to build only on a one half of the land. Yes. Now the other half, which was the Crest land, which they named Crest later on, they did not take the permissions to build on it, just because they felt they had excess FSI. You see, in Haryana, in Haryana, the DTCP allows you a two years license period for construction. That is a sanction period, and every two years you have to go in for a renewal. Similarly, there are so many builders who have gone in for three renewals, four renewals. DLF must have also gone in for the crest as a new renewal, but they didn't have for a the balance piece of the land. They didn't have a permission when they put out an advertisement. That's what I'm trying to say. The regulatory should come in and check that out. Which, which Ashok is the reality? A lot of ads come out without uh, permissions, yes. right? Yes. And I think the whole purpose of that regulatory bill was exactly this: yes. that we should right. uh, be able to 
uh, nobody should be able to advertise without uh, that kind of uh, approval right. in hand. That's right. But having said that, the market is functioning on that. Market is and and the uh, user, even Magic Bricks has no way of ascertaining whether you have all your approvals. The day I say that I will put out an ad only when you show me your approvals, my advertising will dip like crazy, right? I and I can't do that. No, I'm, I'm, saying, I'm, a, I'm yes. not a regulator, as, I'm a media As Magic house. Bricks, you should put out some content on this that even the big developers, when they're doing it, they're doing it wrong. The banks, okay, because the big developer, they do not check his papers and they started giving the loans on the subvention also without the approvals. So something has to be done with the banks also. Absolutely. Absolutely. It, the, this is an issue we've been raising over a period of time. I think at least for the last 10 years I've been raising this issue that how on earth does anybody know that approvals are in place, right? And uh, let, just to just, just step back a uh, minute and tell you why we are organizing a <coughs> forum like this and why we've invited you so far to uh, come and uh, discuss. So did you want to give sure. it back up? Let's start. Right? All right. First of all, Formally, welcome to all of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, it's a delight. Thank you so much. I believe all of you have come from Gurgaon, so uh, we really appreciate that. Uh, over the last uh, few years, I think uh, Magic Bricks has grown considerably. So at this point of time, we get more than 5 million people who visit our site. In the initial days, people used to come to a site like ours largely for searching for property. But in the last couple of years, we have consciously built a very, very strong content platform. Because we found that user needs when they came online were gradually uh, improving from just property search to doing far, far more than just identifying houses. So today on our site, for example, users not only find houses which they further go and do site visits and buy on the ground, but uh, they like to spend a lot of time doing research. Uh, they like uh, you know, spend a lot of time trying to pick up advice from people. And we've built several content platforms over the last couple of years to help our users precisely with that. And uh, part of the content platforms are forums like these, uh, in which uh, we tend to raise questions which our users have sort of been putting on our uh, platform and try and get answers from experts like you. Right. So that sort of feeds back into uh, the system. Uh, we also have a lot of other platforms which are real time. So there are platforms in which users, experts, users answering other users' questions experts coming and giving live chat. So all of those go on. These forums are also useful because uh, it helps you discuss some issues at length, mm -hmm. discuss some issues in a fair amount of depth, and put this out uh, in the market as such. So we do this not only on Magic Bricks, of course, but being part of a media organization, we do it through uh, several of our sister companies as well. Uh, I think we are in the midst of uh, very uncertain times, so there's a lot to discuss, and I'm sure today will be a very fruitful discussion. Uh, not only is the uh, economy wavering, but you have several things which are specific to the real estate industry. So you have a regulation bill which is uh, uh, looming in this category. You have RBI which a few days back uh, put out news that subvention schemes would be under the radar. Uh, you have several things uh, which I think will form the meat of what we are discussing today. So uh, maybe Keshri, I think we should start with that. Yeah. And the land acquisition bill which has and been passed. Land acquisition bill. Very important. <laughs> Uh, let's let's talk about the Gurgaon market. Acro around the world, the you have Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Bangalore, Hyderabad, and Gurgaon. Gurgaon is a entity by itself. When you talk about real estate across the world, it's been accepted as something that uh, that actually Gurgaon probably was driven by real estate. Gurgaon came up because of its real estate rather than the otherwise. And because it was premium commercial real estate that first drove Gurgaon. That tag of premium and uh, has stuck to Gurgaon and maybe will remain with Gurgaon. Having said which, is the demand across the board just uh, uh, premium? We are not so sure. We feel that all kinds of demand is uh, in the market. And we thought the f people who put the finger on the pulse of the market is actually the broker community. You, uh -huh. While a developer builds what sells best, uh, or what he thinks will make the most money for him, a broker actually services the entire gamut of demand. And that's why we thought that it is very important that we understand from you what the demand profile is. So before we get into a discussion of the supply and uh, other policy issues, I thought the first thing that is really critical is what, is, what do you perceive as the demand in Gurgaon? Maybe you'd like to start on? Uh, if we specifically talk about commercial, 
here we are talking about commercial. No, no, we are talking both. You are talking residential as well as commercial. We are primarily talking residential and okay. the linkages between commercial and residential. Right. So, uh, residential is somewhat or other is linked to commercial. If there are more offices, more working places, then only demand for residential will rise. Right, right uh, like you have rightly said that Gurgaon is like a blue-eyed city worldwide, okay, like blue-eyed child. Huh? So why residential market have seen rise in Gurgaon? Just because of the commercial things. Corporates have moved. They started their offices, lavish buildings, high salaries. It is why more and more employees are moving to Gurgaon. And if they are moving at good salaries, they need good houses. So the rise in residential. But now, what is happening at present? Lots of commercial buildings have come up. But I think a big chunk of those commercial buildings it is unoccupied right now. Like you see Sona Road, this MG Road. Many buildings are vacant right now. And the main reason behind this is that ki property prices have risen to many folds. But opportunity with the corporates is quite less at these days. They are not capable of or they are not in a position to earn big money after paying so much rentals or spending so much money on properties. It is why no more rise is happening in commercial segment in Gurgaon. So if you see uh, uh, inflow or migration of people, you would be having data. I'm just uh, telling you why. Migration have reduced in Gurugam. Uh, the speed, what was earlier, four years, five years, six years back, that speed is quite less these days. Even you would see the difference on the re rental market also. Who, the people, I don't know whether anybody is doing rental business or not. The people who are doing rental for residential, I would say. They would have also seen lots of uh, big slump in, th in that business. Just because of this, no further migrations are happening at big chunk. Small migrations are there. Still, they will keep on happening. But since uh, no big corporates are coming and uh, they are not expanding, it is why that thing is impacting the residential market also. So what, and other one thing more, like, uh, uh, around 6,000 property dealers are there in Gurugaon. All, 90% of them are sitting residentially. But as far as their earning is concerned, they can move to commercial. Paying a 20,000, 30,000, 50,000 rupee per month rental in a commercial building is okay for them. But what is hindering them specifically, that is maintenance charges of that particular building. There is a mental block for everybody. Like if you want to buy one crore rupee house, you can buy but you can't buy a 1 crore rupee car because that has more expenses. A 1 crore rupee house doesn't have any expense. Maybe within a uh, amount of 3,000 or 4,000 rupee per month, you can maintain that house. But if you buy a 1 crore rupee car, you need at least 4 to 5 lakh rupees or because maybe 2 to 3 lakh rupees. Because the uh, house appreciates car. and a car depreciates, so there's a big difference. <laughs> so, so whenever we think, to move, even even I'm running my office in from a residential room, I'm okay. I don't want to move to a commercial building. Why? Because the expenses are quite high. The same facilities I am enjoying here. I have my own AC, my own building, my own lenses, everything I, I can use. However, standard is little lower. In the commercial mm -hmm. buildings, standards are quite high. But according to that standard, expenses are also very high. I don't want to move, move to that, that place. So, if we have to, now I am talking the uh, suggestion part, if we have to keep this rise momentum going on in Gurgaon, then first we will have to work on this a commercial part. We should check a plan, all builders, all uh, property dealers, all media persons like you, we should check a plan in this way that the running expenses on these buildings come down. Maybe we can, we can like uh, you can say that non-AC buildings are now coming up. Gurugaon, like Galeria Market or, or High Street Retail. High Street Retail. And they are selling good. Even in this market, they are selling good. If anybody differs from me, they can tell. So in my view, 
we should practical view to reduce the charges would be you know uh, very difficult basic if you are main if cost if is if ac making, i would say yeah, the main I, cost I is ac hmm. there is a biggest uh, uh, part for uh, that covers or you you could say that covers the expense means if uh, the expense is 20 rupees per square foot per month and i think 10 to 12 rupees is of ac and everybody don't need ac if i am not sitting in my room for an, for the whole day i don't need ac but that is a burden on me and i would like so to say something yeah. Yeah, on this actually uh, i just wanted to give genesis of the demand ki why the demand is there in gurugama uh, it's mainly connected to the airport capital airport of the country all fortune 500 companies top bosses when they land in india they want to reach their offices in 10 minutes 15 minutes flat that's why noida is not preferred destination for their corporate offices so the commercial building uh, started get getting occupied because of those fortune 500 companies and from their employees the residential demand came up so local employment generation is the key and if that local employment generation is of the high quality uh, mnc crowd so that's the kind of crowd we have in gurugram and uh, right now there is a glut of commercial buildings because um, economy global economy is not functioning well and in uh, exports are down and call centers are not coming up that much so that's the main reason in gurugram pura usi se chalta hai sara call center exports and all that i would rather i want to add to this it's basically a presence of the it companies and uh, since the it is also sluggish worldwide so that's the effect on the real estate market of gurugram it is why i have said that we Demand. should check out some plan the and plus plus the rental rentals have uh, gone yeah. up and the maintenance bills are rising so uh, these company prefer moving out of they have moved out in fact uh, from gurgaon many of them have moved out to high street retail also and to places like uh, leaving uh, cyber city and moving on to sonar